This is part 16 of the Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild and it's completing the brickwork. No engineering at all in this one. Now that all the Gorilla Glue is set hard, I can remove the piece of plywood that I attached to the top of the box. In this clip I'm showing the removal of the panel pins from the piece of plywood for health and safety reasons. Now it's time for the grouting of the bricks. For this I'm using Typhoc model building mortar. Typhoc is a building system for children where you can build using real bricks and real cement. That's not strictly true, it's not real cement. As far as I know it's a mixture of fine sand and sugar. And the idea of this is, after constructing a building using the original Typhoc bricks, and playing with it for a while, you'll get bored with it. So instead of throwing it away, you just put it in a bucket of water, the water dissolves out the sugar, and the whole thing falls apart and the bricks can be reused. Quite ingenious, really. It's a very messy process, of course, and the little trowel that you get with the set is ideal for applying the grout. or oh, sorry, the cement. When all the gaps are filled, all you do is wipe it off the top surface, and it looks like this. You just wipe off the surplus grout with a damp cloth, but you do end up with some grains of sand stuck to the front of the brick, which can be removed when the main part of the grouting is solidified. And once the brick surface is 100% clean, I would then go over the whole thing with some polyurethane varnish to seal it. This is an extract from a video I did a while back, a live steam test of a large grasshopper beam engine. And this is built on a base actually using Typhoc bricks, which are a bit bigger. But you can see the effect and it's very pleasing and actually looks like the real thing, in a small way. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.